Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the World Series of Poker. I'm gonna steal from Bill Maher here. New rule, if we go bankrupt, we still get to play the main event because that is the only way I'm gonna get to be able to see the rest of the results. So we don't get to make any more money than what the main event would give us, and it also gives us a chance to win the main event, which is kind of the whole point of this series, is winning the main event. So I borrowed some money. Um, I believe Joe Hash... No, it wasn't Joe Hash. I mean, he knocked us out. Um, who was it? It wasn't Aria. I forgot. I totally forgot. Maybe it was his fun. It was Antonio Esfandiari. So Antonio Esfandiari has been very generous. He gave us $3,500 to play in a cash game. I built it up to maybe like 15000 or so in a hand. And then I purposely went down to 10000 I gave some money back and I cashed out at ten. So we can play in the main event. It's time to play day one of the main event. I'm doing this rule because uh, for the past two years uh, we've br we've busted at the World Series of Poker, which is how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just can't do it. And a guy like me, I have limits. Okay, I if I run out of money, spending money in, in a casino, I will not get more money. I will go into my hotel, three days in the hotel watching TV and eating ice cream and crying my 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 tears away, my sorrows away, um, because I'm, I'm that frugal. I guess I could say I'm very um, tidy. What is it? I I. I don't remember the word, um, but I, I care about my money, and if I did have a lot of money, I for sure would not waste it on tournament after tournament. So that being said, that's why we're going to do this. We're going to do this main event, and then we're moving on to year four now. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't really be mad. I cannot really be mad because I busted out on a royal flush. So, I mean, what are you going to do, right? The Royal Flush killed me. I think one of the tournaments I played in in this year was I was card dead the whole time. I think that was the second event. The first one, I don't think there's an excuse for it. But, but I mean, I, I, there's things I could have done better, of course. But uh, I do think the Royal Flush was kind of, That was deep. That was a deep, deep cut. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I got a call. No. All right, main event. I'm going to raise it up to 400. Of course, let me get my signature hand out of the way. Do I look stupid to you or something? Um, and to prove that not only pros win tournaments, Sid Bellows. Uh, one time I did play this game, and I got through the whole year. Um, and I had a lot of money. Uh, and then I ended the... the I, I, left the game alone for maybe like six or seven months and I started over. But one year, Sid Bellows was the World Series of Poker main event yeah, champion. Uh, so that's how I remember his name. And here's so, the I mean, anyone can win this main event. We have Annie Duke on our table, Four, so I'm, nine, I'm hoping we eight. knock her out. Okay, two diamonds is scary. They're biding their time. The 4-9 king is spread out enough that I'm not worried about a straight. I'm worried about a flush here. We get check, check. I think I need to raise with another bullet Looks of like 400. This one. Ben calls. Nice. Annie the Duke folds very wise. Okay, good. Good, good street. hand. We have Jack of Clubs, 10 of Diamonds as our signature clubs. hand. Wonderful. Perfect. I don't like those diamonds. All right, Ben, what you doing here? All right, Ben. Now I gotta turn up the pressure. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Eight fifty. What have you got in your pockets? Oh, wish I could tell you, but I forgot to look at my cards before I bet. He'll probably just fold. No, he called. Interesting. I wonder what he has. That's interesting. Last chance for anyone chasing. Good, a real possibility he could have just hit trip nines. And if he bets 1,500... Okay, so he didn't hit trip nines. I'm assuming he has a busted flush draw. Uh, I'm going to bet 1,200 because he might call. Let's see. 1,200 good for you, Ben. Damn. Okay, he did fold. So he must have missed his uh, flush draw. Or he 
had a four. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll no, never know you. for realsies. All right, three queen. We'll fold that out. I'm glad Annie Duke is on this table. Let's get her out of there immediately. I have no idea how many uh, bracelets she has won at this point in the year because we fast-forwarded maybe like six or seven weeks. All right, king four. The Fold it. Has seen better cards. When we bust out of this tournament, it's going to be a bitch and a half what wrapping it up. It might be a cards. whole its own episode all on its own. I don't know. With a flop like that, I don't really want to make it its own, own episode. So hopefully I can just do it quickly. Record it quickly. Alright, pocket fives. Get re raised and we will call. We'll see a flop here. We hit a five, that's awesome. If it's ace, deuce, three, no that's cool too. Anything else will be a disappointment. Six, eight, Jack. A lot of these players like to stay in the Not a horrible the flop to Let's see how bluff many a stick jack. Now. Um, but I'm going to be cautious because I already did raise it up pre-flop. So I'm just going to check now. Okay, 650 was 13, 12, 50. So yeah, it sounds that's half. And Ben called. I have fives and we'll let it go. And on to the turn. We'll let it go. The seven of yeah. spades. See, even if a five did show up, I'd be nervous of a straight draw then. So, Permit me the honor of and not even one involving a five. I'm nervous of seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack. Hernandez bets half, and Let's see what's up next. very clearly next four, five, six, seven, eight. So I would have had a straight there, but again, I would have been worried about uh, nine, ten from Norm the way he was betting. Been very nerve wracking. I will fold that. We're still up. All right, six queen ace. Some might call me an ace queen. But I'm wow. An <laughs> All right, three six offsuit in the big blind. That sucks, hey, but in. it's super cheap. So let's pretend and to have something. Flop. Keep up appearances on the blinds. Deuce seven ace three four five three two three four five. Oh, okay. I, I check. check. I don't know why there's a helicopter zone yeah, around my apartment, but it's like every night at 10.30, 11.30, and like midnight, there's a helicopter flying around. All in and a call. Oh, Time shoot. All in. All in He's and a call. In Norm is in pair. trouble, but I think he had Going to uh, more chips than Sid, so I think he's still safe. That should lock it's it not going to help. You need a Sid nine Bellows. and only Lady a nine. Is not safe. That is a beatable hand and a lot. Right? Not gonna happen. Look yeah, so he did have some money. Oh, Norm. Norm, Norm, Norm. Call, 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 call. Uh, I'm out. I'll fold. I call. It'll be interesting to see if anyone Okay, can... yeah. Wow. Norm might be pushing it here. All Let's see. In. There he goes. No Two thirds now. the pot. Cody Grieve folds. Milton. Don't let him off easy. You call him absolutely. Players will have to turn over their Deuces cards. versus Ace Queen. Oh, you're in trouble. Norm here tonight. wins. And I think the yeah, it's it's done. The eight of diamonds. He went all in and won. The good news is he doubled up. I could have knocked him out with my six. Would have been a straight. But, his job but that's okay. Him doubling up just means that I'll have more money to take from him when he pushes all in later. All right, Chandler Cooper, Mike Louder, and Becky Cooper. Two Coopers in the top three. Blimey, I'm in. And Cody Milton, the Ginger King. Going to the flop now. Three. Nice, deuce, perfect. That's queen. a great flop. Um. And I'm not first to act. Wonderful. I'm on the uh, the, the button. You know, Australians have to lead the way at every so I just need to call here. I don't feel like I need to raise. Uh, if a king pops up, that would suck. But uh, the way he's raising, he feels like he's got the best hand. So he could have pocket kings anyway. So an ace would be awesome. It would be nice to have an ace. Turn card. Let's see. The queen of spades. That's good. 
That's Fortress perfect. If, if he has wins. kings or aces now, Our I'm champion. good. Uh, I'm gonna go another shot of 500 if you don't mind. Hey, let's keep it interesting at least. And the reason I'm gonna do that is he'll probably just fold, but 500's small enough that he might just call it and see a river. Yeah, go on but he does just fold. Alright, what, what would we get on the river? 10? Okay. So he didn't have anything. He probably only had ace king or something like that. I'm folding I don't know. What hospitable. Alright, so there. Norm the chip, I guess not leader, opposite of leader. Is the underdog anyway. Ace-5 off suit, with a raise under the gun and a re-raise from Clint. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I'm out. Alright, Clint re-raised, Ben, so you don't, don't feel the need to raise here. Nine. Over He's not half. Scared off. Clint calls. Clint looked strong. Re-raising someone who raised under the gun. There's a 10. So obviously Ace Jack is supreme here. All in from Ben Russell. No goofing around for him. And Clint lets it go. Nine. 5-8, not good enough. Annie is Duke calling from under the gun is very odd. I wonder what she has. Potential flush she on the calls. board. This is weird. Let's see what's up next. Courtesy oh, of I want to see your hand, Annie camera. Duke. Damn it. That was a strange play. Say goodbye to this play. All right, we got some walking sticks here, so we can call the rays of Homer. What the hey? I call. And here's get, the wow, like five callers. Give me a seven. Four, ace, eight. Um, one of them's gotta have an ace. So eighteen hundred. Check, check, check. I'm gonna shoot Let's five hundred out. Started, okay? Someone's definitely got an ace, but hopefully they don't just push all in. Hopefully they just call the five hundred. All right, Norm could have an ace. Cool. That's Cody's bad. out. And they're all out. So Norm is the one who might have the ace here. What I need to hit is a, a seven. So I want to see where Co uh, Norm's head's at, being the small stack he here. It all yeah. In. You know what? I'm Good wondering if he's got an ace. An you. ace beats me. Oh, an eight beats me. A jack on. beats me. Holy shit. 10,000 players? Is that how many there were last? My god. Um... I don't even have a flush. There's nothing here that's saying to me that this is worth it. See, my odds are two to one. So we'll let it that's go. It for me. The next card cam is brought to you by Wrigley's. Yeah. That's all right, Norm. You're still small. I'm still ahead of the pack tens. here. Ten deuce ten. And now check check raise from Cody. Call from Clint and Norm. Check from Clint. Check, and feel check right. from Norm. Cody, are you going to raise again? Tick, tick. Go all in. No, he checks this time. Interesting. I wonder if he and has ace king. To the, river. the four of diamonds. I wonder what he's got. Let's see. Are we here Cody grieved to raise to that much and then to not do anything. It's very interesting. I bet Cody just folds here. I'm folding this one. That was a very calculated raise by Clint Lopez. Do any of you want any last words? And Clint had pocket chips? fives and he Enough shows it. it nice. again, you know. All right, five king like under the gun. One. Give it up. Let it go. No. Raise, re-raise. I'm not sure that flop could have been nicer if players got to pick the cards. All right, Cody, themselves. you're in some trouble here. Oh wow, fourteen. Just oh, oh a little over half. Ben calls, Cody folds. Yeah. Nine jack, nine four. Milton bet fourteen hundred last time. Two thousand is the bet you gotta make here now. Two thousand one hundred. I was gonna say if you want him to call, go about seventeen fifty. But he calls twenty one hundred. Interesting. Last card. Wow. So the, are we looking at two monsters here? Are we looking at, like, pocket aces versus king nine? Is that what's going on here? I'm excited to see the, the end of this hand. 
Oh my god, here we go. I, I bet trip nines versus aces. Eights. Oh my god. An ace ten. Nine, ten, check. What? See, this is the problem with the main event. You get 10,000 players, and uh, only about, I'd say, a thousand of them know what the hell they're no doing. Thanks. That's what I'm thinking here. Milton Little just kind of uh, just gave up. Ugly. He's going home. And There's no way he comes, comes back from this. Two pairs, not the strongest there it is. Yeah, the game, it's the poker gods are like, not, Milton, you stupid. Last now I'm not. Everybody off. Why'd you go all in? I had an ace. You stupid. <laughs> he got no Get him out of here. Deck on that hand. What a perfectly good number for him to go out on. It's even. Monk would love it. I love it. My OCD side loves that number. Ones and zeros. I'm going to call. And now we'll go to the flop. Alright, five, eight, queen. Two spades. Hernandez in trouble. And now. Clint raises and Norm folds. But so it's apart. Norm and Clint. Or no, no, no. It's Clint and Ben. That's just showing I used to own that sweatshirt. That that uh, hoodie I'll that he's wearing. A 5,000 bet from Ben takes next, it down. That's an insane bet. 7-5. Did he hit a straight? Alright, we got aces. We got pocket rockets here. So we need to re-raise. I'll go up to 1,500. Let's see if we can get Cody all in. If not, we'll chip away at the table chip leader here of Ben. Odds are we'll probably just take down the pot. But if we do get a call, that's amazing. That's awesome. Good. Yes. We'll see the first three cards now. Queen, 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 seven. seven. If he has a queen, I'm screwed. But I don't think he does, because if Somewhere two queens are on the board, usually it doesn't town. screw you over. And he would have bet it, too. Uh, so what did we bet last time? We bet 15. So I'm going to go another shot of 15 here. Opens up the betting. It's small enough that I think he'd be able to call it. But he does fold. Awesome. All right. Well, we, we picked up some good money there. Not not awesome money, of obviously, but some good money. Min raise, we'll call it, was the, the new one money from Ben. We'll see if we can get a straight flush here. Going to the flop now. King. Six, seven. seven. Six. So we have a pair of sixes. Hmm. We do have position. Raise, re-raise, I'm out. Count Cody's out. out. <laughs> He's definitely not staying in. He makes a re-raise. Ace King versus a, a flush He's drop, perhaps. What's in. going on here? Oh my God, Ben, please call. Into the valley of yes, the this guy's awesome. He's so fun to watch. He calls these all the these all-ins. Really King three versus Ace Four King. That's kind of what I thought. I thought, but I I thought Clint would have the weaker King. The Ace of Clubs. Don't he do it. Don't you dare. Now. Don't you dare and put a club on that river. Don't you dare river. put a club on that river. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like I planned it that way or something. We've got inflation hitting the poker table. A man the in the sun hat. Up. Is that a sun hat? Is that technically a sun hat? Or the, the sailor's up. hat, the Jack the Ripper type <laughs> thing? Not Jack the Ripper. What am I thinking of? Um, I know what you did last summer. That killer. The fisherman. The main fisherman Check it outfit. Such a silly hat. Um, ace queen six deuce. Let's see what they have, Lon. Ace She's eight. Annie Duke out of nowhere. Calls with an ace. After this, all those odds queen ten from Cody. He didn't really have a choice. He really didn't have a choice. He was. It was unfortunate of him. He, he lost quite a bit of money. And uh, queen ten is made a move, fine. It's an outs, okay but no move to go all in when you're that low. <laughs> when you're down to about ten big blinds, as he was. Hopefully All right, under the gun, 8-6 suited isn't good enough, so we folded that. Norm, Otherwise, Homer, Clint. Let's see if any of the players Clint will takes it down relief. with aggression. Card, All right, under the, the gun, 4-8, not good enough. I don't think we've had Jack-10, because that's a hand I consider a pair of almost always. I fold it when I'm uh, around the bubble, the money bubble, 
because uh, I don't want to get out in the bubble with Jack-10. If it was Ace-Jack or Ace-10, I would I'd still play, but... Three of a kind on the board. Check it up. All right, this is an interesting spot here. So if there's three of a kind the on a board salvo. and a king, you have to assume that your highest card in your hand is going to be the the, the, the the play. So if you have a queen, say you have queen deuce, you should be calling a raise here and just and oh, see the end of the hand. Uh, if they're re-raising yeah, like they are, assume they have the ace show. or king not, in their hand. Because this this is scary here. Anyway. Ben now is all in. And Clint calls it off. Good God. Who's got the ace king? Let's see. I'm looking at Ben well, first. No more chips king. We'll king. Some cards. Oh, it's a tie. A so the deuce house. doesn't matter, the queen That's doesn't matter. They both split this pot. They survived going all in. Wow. Well done. Well, the question is how many more well done. all ins can they survive? All right, four six. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Um they didn't look I will fold that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no more two pair there, the but I would not have been willing they to go all in. See, ace four would have beat my two, two pair. Shabby, but it's a, a nine shows up, and with. Ben might eliminate Going Annie Duke here. The jack, of Norman, jack. Say he looks and it's displeased. over for Ben. That's a shame. I liked that guy. What happened? Did you see that with her hair? What happened with her hair there? All right, we got walking sticks again, and Norm in the big blind. Please fold it to me. Fold it to me. Yes. I raise enough to put you all in. 31.50. This is what you should do to the big blind if they're below you anyway. To put the pressure on them, usually they'll fold. Especially when you have an okay hand like sevens. He does push. What has he got? Ace 10. Okay. That's not horrible. It, I would much rather ace 10 than say 10s. So. King 9 deuce. Scary. The ace of spades. Oh, it's an ace. I need a seven. King. Damn it. Alright, well well done, Norm. Good double up. Yeah. I I had the lead in the hand. I don't usually get mad when I get rivered. Not hardly ever, because um to me, it's not oh, you got lucky at the end there. To me, it's like, no, 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 I would have always, that card always would have come up, always. King, but six, because two, I went all in and you called, I just want more money. My hand was always going to win. My king deuce here was always going to win. Even if you have pocket aces, my king deuce on this hand and this board right now would have won anyway. So you can't get mad at me the ten of hearts. when it's the cards that decided your fate. So that's why I usually never get mad when I get beat, like when Norm hit that ace last hand and won the Checks hand. I don't get mad because Lon, it was always going to be an ace popping up anyway, and there was nothing I could do about it. I just Could've made a good play, I'm still good in chip stack pop. position, no. I've been playing well, so I'm happy, I'm fine with Let's it. Take a look at what he's hiding. Power of positivity works in more ways than one. I hold. And that's one of the ways I like to uh, utilize power positivity. I'm stealing this, by the way, from a, <laughs> a wrestling group called New Day. Seven, eight, ten. Okay. Um, they're just a positive people. They say really mean things to the city there because they're bad guys. But uh, And then they're like, we're, we're positive. It doesn't matter if we lose because we're positive because New Day rocks. New Day. Day rocks and it's 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 good. So I mean, I kind of stole that from them. Big action going on right now. Oh my god, a sixteen we'll thousand like really like an eighteen thousand dollar pot here. Two pair versus queen. Oh no! You went in all in with Annie Duke. Are you crazy? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I'm not even sure her cards were good enough to go heads up on. Oh my god. That's a bad... See, I'd probably be upset there. Because it was so... I mean, there was a lot of money involved. Shoot. Alright, I gotta race under the gun with this hand. I can't call it, because... 
I want to control the betting structure of this hand. That's gross. I feel so bad Seven, for her. Two three, diamonds. Five. Beautiful. This flop is like Humpty Dumpty. I doubt anyone can put that together. Raises 1,500. A little over half. So I will call it. Six of spades. Uh-oh. Uh, I need to hit a draw. diamond here. 3,000 for a diamond. 3,000 for a diamond. What's the odds? 32%. Yeah, a queen or a ten helps me here too, kind of. But I feel like somebody has a four, so I need the diamond. It's pretty hard to if you could, well, no, I can't. Do, I can't have that. Uh, okay, so I want the four of diamonds, because then it gives us straight on the board. Shoot! Oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. Smart move. Damn it! But smart. Cowardly. He called me a coward. Six, seven, eight. See, no, I'm not chasing those. <laughs> I just did that last hand. Screwed me over. So now we have to be a little more scrupulous about our play. Alright, deuce four suited again. We'll fold it. We're close to the button, though, so we can play a little more. In this area. Any Duke, Norm, both small chip stacks here. Oh, I had Valley the of the hand. Giants between yeah. Clint and uh, Sid Bellows. We'll fold. That sends him running for the hills. Board shows a pair. Let's see what's up next. Raise from Clint of the and immediately folds. Queen King, I like it, I'm calling. We get a call from the big blind as well. Here we go. King Queen. Oh, that's gross. He has another drawing hand. That's what sucks. I check. Give me a 10. 10! 10! That changed it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, that didn't change anything either. The only thing I need to dodge here is an ace. If my king kicker will do it. Unless he has a 9. Oh, fours. Fours work too. Shit. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble in the first day of the main event. I'm out. Let's see, 100, 200. What, what is that? Is there antis here? Um, 225. So we're not in trouble yet because we're still around 10 big blinds, but we need to. Uh, we need to get going here. We need to at least double up soon or something. I don't like the trajectory we've been on, which is down. Ace Jack wins it. Nine, eight, nine, ten. Jack Queen. Yeah, he hit the straight. King eight. I'll fold with King eight. I don't need to be playing King eight. I'm folding this one. I'll wager the players are happy. Queen Jack. Ten. So I would have had an up and down straight jaw, though I probably would have folded. Friendly yeah. cards led to a heads Fours up beat Norman. ace four. Those little backstabbing cards okay. are no friends of mine. Alright, deuce three, that's horrible. Fold. I'm We're in out. a bad spot. I here's here's what I would like to see happen. I would love to take out Norm, first of all. Then I would use that money to double Bellows up through Annie and then take her out. Down. And then I'd use that money to do the same I to Homer. Think. And then we'd move it on to the next table. That's the best now. thing I can see going on here. All right, I gotta go all in. Here I go, all in. Oh, Ace Queen, Ace Queen, please don't screw me. I'm out. Please don't screw me, Ace Queen. Oh, he folds. Beautiful. Oh man, another one. Nice. He gives it up. He was trying to steal. I will right, we'll fold. Board shows a pair. Good, so we made some money there. So again, we're not really in too much trouble. 9, 10, 10, jack, deuce. Okay. Um, interesting. All in here for Manny? Check. Oh God, why don't you just She's scared. All. Look at this crap. Rightly so. She didn't have anything. Let's take a look Clint should have pounced on her and she would have folded immediately. Alright, now we got to try to take out Norm here. 
That's what we're going to try to angle around. Oh, Homer goes all in. Takes it down. Four king. That's not good enough. Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, I don't think it's good enough, but I will call it. I'm going to go with you on this one. I call. This sucks. Lon, let's see who's Ace nine. Okay, so I'm live. Ace nine isn't all that great either. Uh, to be going all in with four. I think there were four people to act. No, five. Everybody was to act. He was under the gun and he went on ace nine. That's drastic. Ace, queen nine. Going mm. to fourth street. The nine of diamonds. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, Shit. I mean, what can you do, right? I should have folded that. I should have folded. But, I mean, I could not resist Lordship. taking him out. I've got to. He's the life. He's next on the lifeline. Although he's now I'm up against Annie in. Duke here. So I guess maybe waiting for Norm would have been better. But Ace-9, I'm happy with him going all in with Ace-9. I Ace-9's beatable. I think I have to call. All right, Annie, what do you got? With an all in here, the players She's got Jack 10. She's cards. got, oh, it's not exactly and our version of Jack 10, but it is our Jack signature hand Offsuit. of the game. Are we going to be taken out by it? No Jack, no 10. And if you do, get it, make it a diamond. Five, three, seven. Good. So she, she needs to pair up now. Well, what she needed the to pair up anyway. Spades. Three, four, Duke five. Could still win, however. She Jack or 10, and I'm out. And here comes the river. Annie oh, thank God. All right, double up through Annie. Beautiful. We skipped a step. We didn't take Norm out first, but doubling up through Annie was part of the master plan. So. Let's see if she can pull it out. Oh, no. Ace King versus Aces. Yeah, there's nothing that can be done here, Clint. She wins. That was very well timed. <laughs> that was very. She sounded like a robot there. Ace, Ace, Eight. Annie, raise. Re-raise to Annie. Annie calls it. Okay, Annie. Pretty brave move. Goes all in. Clint. Let's see if any of the players will get Good some move. Relief. Annie the Duke is a dangerous, dangerous poker player. I'll fold that under the gun. Players can all in. Their Sid Bellows calls. Ace five of diamonds. First Jack ten, but this one suited this time. Jack ten. Come on, suited. Sid. Just take him out. I don't really need him anymore. I'll double up. Eight, Eight Jack, Jack four, four. Fourth Street. Yikes! No diamonds to help him Jack, out. He's gonna be oh, it's over. The double up for Norm. Lines That's actually not too bad, I guess. And it puts so a dent in Sid. Um, yeah. See, I'm not gonna Help do that out. this time. Queen four is not good enough. I'm a little mad that he raised my one. big blind. And King five. Oh, well played. Let it go. Patience and we will we will be rewarded, I believe. Gamble. Alright, ace three. Ace three is not great. Um I've gotta fold it. If it were ace four or ace five, I probably would have called, but they're not suited and I don't know. Yeah, see like a flop like that comes up and it's your card your your hand is dead. Let's see if Nothing you can do about it. Get some Even an ace wouldn't really help you because then what if someone the has king uh, king ten? You know? So it's just... Yeah. Alright, well, this is another bad ace situation. I don't like ace 8, ace 7, ace 6. But in hand, I'll play on the big blind. But I usually don't like to play these baby aces. Alright, 3-9. We'll let it go. It'll be Alright, 8-9. Jack. Two spades, two hearts. <laughs> Maybe Check, raise from Sid, and Norm card. gives it up. All right, ace three again. It's like the universe is calling to me, saying, play, play, but I don't want to play. We have to get to 600th again. Um, what was I going to look up? Ace something? I don't remember what I was going to look up, but I was going to. All around. Give the pot oh, I was going to look at the antis. Right, okay, so big blind is four. So I'm in trouble again. So the next good hand, we should go all in. Now, I have half a mind to go all in here to try to push him out, but I don't think he'll do it, so Simmons I need to fold. Like it. Let him go to 42 or whatever he's going to be at, 46. 
Yeah, three five. It's not good enough. If it, if it was Jack ten, I probably would have raised him all in. Gives it up. Let's see how many hands has he played, Norm? Forty four. So yeah, I was gonna say he's pretty active. So. What's the matter? Afraid His range of hands is gonna be a little out there. Call from Homer. I'm not Call sure check. I've raise from Norm. Re-raise from Homer. Norm folds, gives it up. Huge raise from Homer under the gun. I'm out. Things a little bit evening out here with Clint and Homer. Sid re-raises. Check, check. Raise from Sid. Homer is out. Homer down to six. Now he had a raise from Clint, but he takes down a good pop with that. Okay, ten queen. Uh, um, mmm. Damn, um, I don't think I have a choice because I'm under, That's I've got to go all in. All I don't in. like this hand, just like I don't like Queen Jack, but I feel like I've got to go all in under the gun and hope that what they all fold. I bet. Shit. All in and a call. Yeah, Look, I'm screwed. I need a queen. With only queen ten. Or Let's ace jack king. And now we'll this go is to a bad flop. spot. We're in a bad, bad spot. If we bust out, I can... Six, ace... Eight. Shit. Gonna need runner yeah, runner there's like zero percent chance and of this. Turn now. Two, the and I'm out. Of diamonds. Seven. Lemons yeah. Might be in a little trouble here, Norman. And here comes the river card. Nine, nine, nine. Damn it. Well, there you go. Now we get to uh, enjoy <laughs> doing this bullshit. This is what I get. This is my punishment for busting out so damn early in year three. Now I have to go through the whole stupid thing and review all the stupid events. I don't want to spoil that. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. At least not for me. You guys might have seen it, but I, I didn't spoil it for myself. My eyes definitely darted to that spot, but I didn't see it. Oh, we didn't even get past day one. Um, I need to go back here. Year two, year three, event. I might as well just write all of these down now. Event eight. Uh, I'm just going to go nine, ten uh, to save time. So I've got it split into three sections. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I think there are 40, so we'll go up to 27 for now. Alright, so, event number 8. Right, we went through this week. Okay, event number eight. Umberto. I love Umberto. Uh, Umberto, who I think won a bracelet uh, in season, or year one. So let me look through that. This is going to be the painstaking part where I have to go through and look at all these. I think he won an early one. He didn't. Umberto hasn't won a bracelet yet. Just double check for quality. And he has not won one. So Humberto, this is his first overall and first of the year. Okay, number nine goes to Billy Bob. All right, Billy Bob. I'm very excited to see the, uh, he definitely hasn't won one. I can check though, just in case. I don't think Billy Bob's won one. I think Lori Jones was one of the Lance Boyle, but I don't remember Billy Bob winning in year one. No. Alright, Billy Bob wins event number nine, and that's definitely his first bracelet. Congrats congratulations. Liz Liu wins event number ten. Liz Liu. Liz Liu won um how many in year one? <laughs> Quite a bit, I remember. Like three? Maybe two. Oh, she only won once. Um, yeah. 
So this is going to be her second bracelet overall. Her first this season. Perfect. Number 11. TJ Cloutier. TJ Cloutier. I think his hand is Jack 9 or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, but this is definitely his first of the season. But what about in year one? Did TJ win? Not that I'm seeing here. I don't see a TJ Clute unless it was day one. Or, uh, uh, first page. And it, it was not, so I didn't see him win any. No. So that's his first bracelet. Congrats to TJ Clute. He's got a specific hand that is named after him, but I don't know what it is. Uh, Max Pescatori, the Italian pirate. Max Pescatori. It's definitely his first this year. Pescatori. Uh, won one. He won event 34. And he won. That's it. So he has two bracelets. Okay. And that's this is going to be his uh, second one overall. All right, number 13. Sydney Violet, who... Shoot, that's her third. Oh, no, 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 no. She won the first one. Okay, so, wow, Jesus. Yeah, Sydney Violet. She won one, like, in the first couple of weeks. One, yeah, so I've got my notes correct. Two... Where's the third? Two... Three, and then she won four. She won the first event of year two. So this is going to be her first of this year, right? Yeah. So she's going to have five overall in the first of this year. That's crazy. Five overall. She's the woman to beat right now. She's the best poker player in my playthrough. Fourteen. Phil Gordon. This man is a teacher of poker. Uh, I think this is definitely his first this year. Uh, Phil Gordon. I feel like he's won one before. I feel like I've... Yeah, he won event 31. And... That was it. So good on Phil. He, that's his second bracelet of this World Series. And what sucks is that I'm not winning a bracelet, which uh, I need to get better. Um, Alan Cunningham, he's definitely won one. I remember seeing his name. Alan Cunningham. Alright, did he win this year? No. But I know he won in uh, year one. But was it only one? Looks like it was. Only one for Alan Cunningham. Uh, he won event number five, which was a world championship. So this is his second bracelet. And first of this year. Number 16, Dr. John Kelly. Look at that. The good doctor. Bracelet winner. The World Series of Poker. He's definitely only won one. I didn't see his name anywhere. Uh, 17, Phil Helmuth. Beautiful. So this is his first this year. Phil won only one last uh, in year one, so this is second overall. A main event champion. I guess I should put that uh, year one one champ. We don't remember who year two was, so um, yeah. All right, eighteen. Christy Gazes, okay. I remember seeing her name too. But I think it's only one time. Uh, so this is definitely her first of the year. And she won one bracelet later on in year one. And... Good, only one. 
So this is her second bracelet. So again, see all these pros are starting to beat me now. Carl Stevens. This is definitely his first ever and his first uh, uh, this year. Antonio Esfandiari. Um, A. Esfandiari. This is going to be his second? No, I think he won. Let's see, when did he win? Yeah, he won the first event. Mm -hmm. So this is second this year and third overall. I'm so happy my notes are working. Beautiful. So then the next time, say in year four, uh, he wins a bracelet, I'll come back and I'll see his name on the 20th uh, event and I'll say, okay, he's won three overall and two this year, so he's won four bracelets, because obviously I have to subtract one. I just need to remember that formula. Awesome. Okay. 21. TJ Cloutier, two in one week? No, no, not two in one week, but two in two weeks. That's pretty impressive. He won shoe. What was the other one he won? Uh, Limit Hold'em. Okay, yeah. Limit is TJ's game, I guess. TJ... Cloutier. This is second overall. I guess I could just go to the overall. Yeah, I guess I could just go to the overall. I don't know why I have to add two and subtract one. Whatever. Um, TJ Cloutier has two and two this year. Good for him. Mike the Mouth. Mike Madiso. Winning number 23. He didn't win any this year. He didn't win any in year two. He won one in year one. I think only one. Yep. Only one. So this is his second overall and his first this year. Oh, number 22. That is 22. Okay, good. Uh, Montel Green. Wow. So that is very interesting. He's now a bracelet winner. I'm going to have to keep some of these guys uh, in my head correctly. I wonder if I could... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. All right, 24. Christy gazes again. Wow. This is her uh, third overall. Her second this year. Good for her. Roland DeWolf. I'm just going to put Daywolf. Pretty sure he won one this year. So let's look. Daywolf won three overall, one this year. So now he's got two this year. Four overall. Yay, notes. Um, Sharon Payne. Sharon Payne sounds familiar, so I'm going to look back in my records to see if she won in year one. Uh, this is definitely her first this year. All right, let me look in year one, because that name sounds familiar. Um, can't wait to count up the men and women. And she did not win. And let me just check year two. Nope. And okay, so Sharon Payne. Her, a bracelet for Sharon Payne. All right, number 27, Scott Fishman. He's definitely won one uh, in year two, I think. Scott Fishman. This is exciting for me, but it's probably dirt boring to you. But I love doing this. So he has won two. He won in year two, and he won in year three. So this is third bracelet, second this year. All right, let me go to the next page. And we are on 28. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and I'll go up to 40. I think there's like 44, but 20. Eight. Sydney Violet, my god. 
My god. Oh, place total. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna keep track of that because I, it's not applicable in this season. So, I don't know why I need three rows, but I, I'm doing three rows. So, Sydney V. This is gonna be... Jesus. Sydney Violet's crushing it. This is her sixth bracelet. Second this year. Wow. Gavin Smith definitely won one in year one. Uh, this is first this year, though. Alright, Gavin Smith. One, year one. Uh, I thought it was okay at the end, and he had two. It says he had two, and I believe them, yes. So this is his third overall. Well done for the court jester. Uh, Raz, nice. Lance Boyle. Don't recognize. I recognize the name, but not on the names I've been reading tonight. So I'm going to take a gamble that he only has one. And the first of this year. Annie Duke. Annie Book. No, Annie Duke. Um, Annie Duke. I don't believe one this year. No, she did not. Um, Annie Duke is third overall, third bracelet overall, and her first this year. 32. Uh, David Williams. Oh, good, David Williams. So we haven't heard from him in a little bit. It's definitely the first of his this year. But let's look back. David Williams. I've got David Ulliot. David Cohen. That's a name I should remember. Oh, Lance Boyle did have one. Damn it, I knew it. I knew his name looked familiar. Okay, Lance Boyle, I apologize. It's your second overall. Let me just edit that. And first this year. Okay, edit it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> David Williams. I, I'm sure he won one early on. I'm not seeing a bracelet for David Williams. That's crazy. If he hasn't won one at all. Wow. He hasn't won one at all. Okay. Dave Williams, first bracelet and first this year. Richard Edwards. Alright. Richard Edwards. It's definitely his first year and overall. Uh, Mike the Mouth. His, uh, let's see, where was he? He was up there. Uh, this is his third overall. Second this year. Good for Mike the Mouth Mad. So we're almost done here, people. Gavin Smith. Taking two down in one week? I think so. Yeah, two in one week and seven cards done. Look at that. Uh, so Gavin Smith has four overall. Wow. Two this year. Catching up to uh, Sydney Violet. Clone Gallon. Alright, this is definitely the first of hers this year. Yes. Clone Gallon had some success in year one. She did very, very well. She had two, so this is her third overall. All right, 37. Uh, World Championship, Jennifer Tilly. Good for her. Jen Tilly. Uh, and Jen Tilly, very, she had a year two win, and this is her fourth overall. First this year. Let me just double check that. Yeah, okay. Number 38, Kwani Gowan again, wow. Kwani Gowan disappeared for a while. But she is back, and look at this. 
we have three women poker players above four bracelets. Or at, at or above four bra bracelets. That's crazy. It's her second this year. Uh, Sydney Violet. My god. I'm sick of writing her name. I just, just buy a stamp of her name and just stamp it and be quicker. <laughs> Sydney Violet is at uh, seven. My goodness. And that's her third this year. She did this in year one, where she won three bracelets in the year. That's crazy. Phil Gordon takes the horse championship. So 40 was horse. Okay, I'm just gonna put horse. And that this is gonna be his uh, third overall. His second this year. Okay, uh, 41, 42, and 43. Okay, perfect. That actually fits very nicely on the page. Um, Michael the Grinder Mizraki. I'm just gonna go M Mizraki because it's easier to spell. Um, he didn't win any this year, so that's his first. But he did win one uh, for sure in year one. Phil Locke is another one of those names who's just kind of sitting at one bracelet. Mizraki only won one, so this is his second overall. His first this year. 42. Greg Raymer. There you go, Greg. I wish we had more stats from year two, but we screwed up. Greg Raymer, did he win year one? I feel like he did. Yeah, he won event 12. Did he win again is the question. I don't think he did. I don't remember seeing his name. Year two. Early on in year three. So this is his second overall first this year. And the winner of the main event of year... Yeah, we've been 20 minutes on this. Main event of year three winner is... Chris Jesus Ferguson. Wow. Wow. Jesus wins again. Definitely the first this year. I, I don't remember seeing his name. Jesus Ferguson. That's impressive. Makes me smile because he's such a nice guy. So yeah, he's only won two bracelets so far in this World Series of Poker. Beautiful. Chris Jesus Ferguson is um, at two overall, and he is your world champ. Uh, main event champion. That's awesome. And he's won it before. So, I mean, horse champion. Wonderful. Sweet. Now we get to do the fun thing. I'm excited. We get to find out who won Battle of the Sexes. Alright, I'm going to count the men first. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was a good stretch. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We're getting close. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 30, 31, 32. So, men, 32. Women should be um, 11. So, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, 11. Men dominating victory in year three stipulation. But I'm going to repeat it in year four uh, because I feel like the women can do better than that. All right, so here we go. Year 
four. Unless there's another stipulation that you guys want me to add. How about, um, we'll do a top five, and whoever can win the most bracelets in the year is the winner, all right? So year four, most bracelets. I'm gonna say it like that. And then most bracelets will take up uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll block that off. So that'll be the standings. Who was player of the year? Player of the year was Jesus Ferguson, so he was also player of the year. All right, so he was um, also player of the year. Player of year. Johnny Chan was the first player of the year, right? So I should, so Johnny Chan, where was he? Player of year. Year one. Year two, we don't know, unfortunately. Player of year three for Jesus Ferguson. And we're on to year four. I'm super pumped. So we get to now enjoy the fruits of our spoils. We take home 380. So this kind of sucks. We're down $19,000 right um and i can add in the year one results too so we're down like maybe twenty five thousand dollars or so something like that so we need to come out of the hole by the end of this 10 year event <sighs> let's see if we can do it all right back out advance to next year and we're gonna get some tips from phil helmuth see if we can't improve ourselves <laughs> Let's talk about before the flop aggression. Here's what I like to do before the flop with your top ten hands. Always raise and re-raise. It's very yes. simple. But the reality okay. is you need some level of discretion. Okay. The top ten hands always raising and re-raising and limit hold them before the flop. That's fine. But guess what? There's a lot of times where you can actually fold these hands. Yes. Oh, the, okay, perfect. <laughs> uh, so there you go. You can use the, the 50 off and get the black belt, poker, whatever. <laughs> that was not very helpful, Phil. All right, I'm going to set this up just to prove that I'm doing this on professional. See, 9,500. If I wasn't doing it on professional, it would give me like 15,000, and you wouldn't see 7 card, you wouldn't see Omaha. Those would be gone, and it would just be the, the limit hold'em stuff. Um, so once again, we are here, day one of the World Series, and uh, this will be coming out tomorrow, year four, most bracelets. And we're going to have some ties here. Uh, for example, in year three, year three, Sydney Violet had three. Mike Matisau, Gavin Smith, Kalani Gowan. A lot of ties. It's funny, RTJ Cloutier, a lot of ties. So, I don't know, we'll have to figure something out to differentiate that. But Sydney Violet uh, is dominating this World Series. Maybe we should do overall most bracelets? No, we should do that in year five. Um, so we'll just do most bracelets next year, and that'll be what we do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna thank you for watching. Uh, now we're to the average time because I spent half the video doing all the statistics. That's really cool, um, seeing all that. I love doing the statistics. Uh, you can skip it. I'm, if you did skip it, awesome, because it, just kind of go back and listen to me when I wrap that up and I review it, because that was kind of cool to, to hear and to see the um, how many bracelets each of these people has won. It's, it's, un, it's impeccable. So that being said, ladies and gentlemen, Tomorrow we will be playing day one of year number four of the World Series of Poker. Thank you for watching. Please like the video. It helps me. It supports me. I'm still working on 2,000 subscribers, so if you happen to be new, please subscribe to me. It'll help me out and help me get to my goal of 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year 2015. Let's get that done. Let's smash that goal, okay? Thank you for watching, and Derek D. Ginger King, checking out.